Hi, my name is Jacob Serber. I'm the new product manager for Flash Catalyst CS 5.5. Uh, we're here today to talk about uh, what is Flash Catalyst. So Flash Catalyst debuted in CS5. It was a tool that really focused on creating applications without writing code, uh, especially if you were a designer. Uh, Flash Catalyst CS 5.5 has started to mature and has become a product that really focuses on interaction design, creating wireframes and prototypes. Uh, it, it also helps to support a workflow with Flash Builder to create expressive flex-based applications. Here we are in CS 5.5. And one of the most requested features was a resizable application. What you can see is inside the application, we now have a small handle in the lower right. This lets me preview how the application is going to resize in the browser. You can see I can grab it and move it around, and you can see items start to reflow. When I let it up, it snaps back. Flash Catalyst is also a powerful wireframing tool. Here we started to wireframe out a grid. Uh, inside of this grid, we've started to use our new common library. You can see here we have several placeholder components. Here we're using our image component in the item render. Uh, CS 5.5 works very well with all of our design tools. You can import your Illustrator files, your Photoshop comps. Once you have the assets inside, we have a new Replace With feature. You can simply right-click on an object and say Replace With, and choose your asset from the library. In order to create fully functional wireframes, we've now added global targeting to the Interactions panel. With the new global interactions, you can now control any component inside of the application. You simply select the component you want to control, choose Add Interaction, and then you can choose any component from inside the application. I just navigate to the component I want to choose, select it, and say OK. Another highly requested feature in Flash Catalyst CS5.5 is managed layouts. You now have the ability to group objects and apply a horizontal, vertical, or even a tile layout. Here's a list. We've applied a tile layout to it. I can control which direction the tile flows as well as controlling the padding and the spacing in between the item renders. This may be a small feature, but extremely important when you're trying to lay out several objects on a screen. We now have an Align panel. This Align panel you'll recognize from all of our design tools, and you'll know as soon as you see it. And the last feature I'm going to show you is enhancements to our timeline. Uh, you can now transition colors, fonts, strokes, many more options that will let you create expressive applications. For more information, check out the Flash Catalyst page on the Adobe Developer Connection. Thanks.